Hi, welcome to Peach Betty. My name is Morgan, and this is Super. Sullivan, my son. Great job. Jake. 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 Who's Jake? Today we are making barbecue bean bread. And I know it doesn't sound very appealing, but it looks delicious. Mm -hmm. This is from our Pillsbury Bake Off mm -hmm. book. And I thought it would be perfect because summer is coming up and beans and franks are everywhere. So with your leftovers, you can make some barbecue bean bread. So I'm going to show you <laughs> how to start making this. The water? Oh, okay. You pour the bowl? No, no. Mm -hmm. You. In the bowl. Yes. Now that everything is mixed together, we can go ahead and add half of our flour. Ready? Oh, we oh. Or all of it. Yay. That's fine too. <laughs> me, me. Me, me. Can I mix with you? Whoa! Whoa! Yay! Let's keep mixing. <laughs> oh, we just sneezed right in the bread. Me, me, me. <laughs> it smells really good. Now that it is a big shaggy mess. Oh. You got barbecue sauce on your forehead. <laughs> we need to knead the dough. Where are you going? Well, I'm going to dump it out on our table here. We gotta get in there with our hands now. Yeah, come on. And we have to knead this together until it is nice and elastic for about three minutes. Hi. 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 Okay, so we have kneaded the dough until it's nice and smooth. It's nice and elastic, which means I can pull on it and it doesn't rip right away. We have developed the gluten for the perfect stage. I'm now going to put it into a grease bowl. Into a grease bowl. Turning it over so it is covered in oil. <laughs> and we're going to cover it in plastic wrap and let it rise. Alright, so it has been about two hours now and this thing has more than doubled in size. So it is perfect to put into our loaf pan. So I'm not going to punch it and abuse it. It will be very nice and just scoop it out of here. I'm going to... Use just about three quarters of it because I have a relatively large loaf pan. It's a five and a half by nine inch pan. I'm just going to cut about a quarter off. I'm going to make this into a loaf by stretching it out, folding in my corners, and then rolling up my end here, and then pinching it off kind of the heel of my hand. Once it's nice and pinched, the cute little log, I'm going to take some oil, take a paper towel, and just rub it around so our loaf doesn't stick after it's baked. Well, I can gently put our little friend right in here. All right, you always want to make sure you put the seam on the bottom so it's nice and smooth on top. And there we go. Now we have to wait another 45 minutes to an hour until this guy gets nice and fluffy. This, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with you. Make a tiny little loaf. Set you on a tray somewhere. Rainbow. 
We put some butter on it so it's extra delicious. Can I try some? Eat. Mm-hmm. Let's eat. Let's eat. Let's eat. Do you like it? Have shit. Can I try a bite? Okay. Okay. Mm. I think really the flavor that comes through is paprika. It doesn't really taste like beans, it smells like baked beans. But you can taste the paprika for sure. It's good, it's nice and soft and super light and fluffy. Look at that. Overall, I think it's pretty good. What do you think? Yeah, yum. I think it'd be really good with some ham, a little ham sandwich. I always dip my ham in beans. Mmm. Give it a try. If you have some leftover baked beans from your picnic, go ahead and make some bread. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next Sunday. Bye. Bye. See ya. See ya. Um, Bye. Bye.